<laughs> okay, so one of the things that needs to be done in the expansion of the Green Mountain Gold Trap and with the concrete being poured up in that section where there's still dirt is getting this old foundation boulder when the house was bought this whole corner needed work and that huge boulder was in was one of the, the foundation boulders probably the cornerstone over here and the only thing that they could do with it was bring it in and it's been sitting there ever since so I've got it down off from this pad and I've got it over here it's not real big but it's awkward and of course when boulders are not in water they're they're not as light <laughs> so because it's got an odd shape to it it's kind of shaped like a, a triangle I've been spinning it and flopping it this way and then turn it and flop it and turn it and flop it so I've got a I've got to get it spun now but my neighbor Travis is coming over to give me a hand unfortunately they're moving and that sucks because they're good neighbors and here he comes now knock knock you want to be on one of my videos Who? you I don't care. well come in <laughs> there's my neighbor Travis coming to help how you doing so hello YouTube hello YouTube <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna get this beast moved see ya day two forced day off um, I wasn't gonna come today but I left my wing dam in place the end of yesterday's video you all heard me say I hope it stays there well we've got rain coming this afternoon which isn't much maybe up to a tenth of an inch but tomorrow a hundred percent chance and up to an inch so that will be gone so I say well I gotta come today and I'll do some work and before I leave I'll bring all these rocks back so they can't get out of here. That way I've got them for next time. But anyway, I've already dug some. I guess pretty much my goal today is to go back even further and get it down to bedrock. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any suction hand dredging today because I got hung with me. She's up there and she's working and panning right in that area and all her murky water is coming right down in here and I can't see a damn thing. So. Um, also, I've got a customer contacted me last night and asked me a question about the gold trap. So I'm going to address that in today's video in the next clip. So I'm going to get set up for that, get some material and get it over there and explain the whole scenario. So I'll get back to you in a bit. Alright, so the question was how can I prevent it from compacting? Now this customer, he sent me three pictures. In one of the pictures, I saw the material kind of backing up on the skid plate, so I'm not sure if that's what he meant or if he meant inside the capture tray. So right now, I've got this set up in optimal. I've got it running the way I want it to. So I'm going to show you what the material should be doing on the skid plate when it's set up right first. It should run right over there nice and easy. Get a bigger rock in here. Goes right over. So that's what that's what you should see. And another thing I try to see is down here in the capture tray. When I feed material on, if I wait a couple seconds, the center tube or all three tubes at the front of the trap should show themselves again. So right now it's doing that, so I can feed it at a faster rate. But I don't know if you noticed, when I put a shovel full on, I don't put a whole shovel on. I kind of like put half and then another half on. I think that's the best thing to do with the gold traps. 
course, with the pastry finder, which is what you have, what the customer has, it's a slower feed rate. But you just want to keep an eye on the trap. Let it tell you what to do. So now I'm going to elevate this end here and show you what you don't want to see. still raging over pretty good. I'm hoping this is going to work and I don't have to elevate it any more time. Yeah, it's slower and those rocks kind of hang up. The material's not clearing as fast. And if it was a little bit higher than that, go even slower. And it's kind of taking a while over here. Yeah, it takes longer for the material to go. So I think that might be what your problem was. And also it's not clearing as good in the, in the capture tray. See how my tubes are revealed? Let me see if I can do this here. I've got the camera on the tripod, so I'm trying to hold on to it at the same time. I'll watch the capture tray. See how the tubes come back? So as soon as I see even just the center tube reveal itself, I add more material. And with it set up at a steeper pitch, you can really see that material dancing inside there. So that's what you really want to look for. All right. Hopefully that addresses your question. And anybody else who might have that question. So there you go. Enjoy. Another thing I want to address is if you get any rocks hung up on here, it creates turbulence inside of the gold trap, which can possibly blow gold out. So if you get a rock hung up on there, you want to get it off. And if things do get caught up on there, don't put your shovel down like this or like this because it's like having a rock on there. Go so like that.
So yesterday, when I dug in here, I don't know if y'all remember, but on the other side of this rock, this was all filled in. And I've gone back quite a bit further today. But anyway, down in here, in this area, yesterday I was pulling out some good sized pieces of uh, hematite, hematite, I don't know how you pronounce it. One of the two. And this, I have no idea what it is, but it's extremely heavy for its size. So if anybody knows what that is, I don't have a magnet with me. It might be magnetite, but it seems to be too bluish gray. I don't know. See? I'm not sure what it is, but it's very heavy. So I just thought I'd show that to you. Gold traps picked up, dams dismantled to a point where I know it's not going to go anywhere. And did a clean out, of course. Not a very big gold day. But, I mean, that's what I'm working on. I think I'm just moving the overburden. There might be something down below. But I don't even know if you'll be able to see them in there or not. There's 34 pieces up in here, nothing big. But I moved that, I worked it back even further around the back side of that boulder. And I also managed to move that rock. And that one was tipped down over here and I flopped that up. Did some digging in here, cleaned that out. So there might be, there might be something in this area. And of course, there's more bedrock that can break up. But that's going to wrap it up for today. I don't know if it's Tuesday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Thursday. We're supposed to have some nice weather in the 60s, sunny. So I'm going to try to get back here and do a little more. Get as much in as I can before it gets too cold. All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to the Green Mountain Gold Trap family, as I always say, which are my subscribers. And for those of you who aren't, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave a comment. I answer everyone for now until the channel gets too big. Like, share, and all that good stuff. And I love how this water looks kind of green around the edges of the, the turbulence. That's really cool. All right, catch y'all later. The link for Patreon can be found in the banner on YouTube, and I thank you all.